small business marketing, right? Very great concept, very important step that small businesses need to understand, okay? I'm Kawana D and I'm a business growth strategist. I teach women and minority small business owners who are professional service providers learn how to grow their business with government contracts. And so over the next few minutes, what I'm gonna do is I wanna share with you some small marketing, some small business marketing tips um, that can help you really 10X your business like literally in the next six to 12 months, okay? So I'm gonna share with you three simple ways that you can market your small business services to the government so that you can get paid large contracts doing what you're already doing, doing what you already love. And so this is very, very, very key, right? Tips, the things that people don't share, okay? So um, number one, all right? So if you're a small business owner like myself, I'm a small business owner, um, over the past few years, I really learned how to, you know, start getting consistent, sustainable income. And that's by selling my services um, that I was already selling to the government. And so I'm here to share with other small business owners like yourself, three simple ways that you can market your service. So you can sell to the government because anybody can do this. Okay. You guys, um, I have some other stuff, you know, in my, uh, some other very important, like short, um, you know, tutorials on selling your service to the government. What does the government buy? How much do they spend? All of that stuff is in my, um, my, uh, entourage, uh, entourage of, um, uh, uh, videos, right. In YouTube. So you can check it out. But anyway, um, so number one, the first type of way that you can market yourself to the government is as a subcontractor. You may ask, like, what is that? Um, so basically, a subcontractor is an opportunity where you can work with a larger business or another business and you're like the third tier. So the first tier is like, here's the government agency that puts out the contract opportunity. And then here's the, the large business. They are, they, they're the uh, prime contractor. And then they hire you to do a service up under them okay so that is what is what what it's like to subcontract um, basically you can market yourself as a subcontractor primarily because um, there are you know contracting opportunities all the time um, primes have goals just like there's goals on each contract um, for them to hire um, you know for a certain percentage of that those contracting dollars to go to a small business owner or to a woman um, owned business or to a minority owned business or to like a LGBT owned business or whatever so um, so there those are called small business concerns so if they if the prime does not meet you know that goal itself then they have to hire subcontractors to help them meet that goal so hopefully that makes sense so you can market your services to the government as a subcontractor and land really large contracts uh, my first subcontractor was like seven seventy seventy k seventy thousand dollars um and for like 28 days of work you guys and it was on a multi billion dollar project so yeah if you're a prime if a prime is getting a multi multi billions of dollars or whatever for a project and you're like well hey um for my service it's going to cost a half a million they don't care they'll list you because they need to meet that goal okay all right so the second way that you can market your business services to the government is being a prime yourself, right? So if there's an opportunity for you to do something that the government has a contract specifically for that thing, and I'm going to give you an example, then you can go after it as a prime. For an example, if there is a contract for like marketing services and you have a marketing service based business, you can go after that contract as a prime. Um, even better, if you are a minority and that marketing contract is specifically set aside for a minority business, then guess what? You can go after that as a prime and meet that goal. So that's it. So yeah, this, you guys, this is some really great stuff that I'm sharing with you guys. Okay. Okay. So there's a third way that you can market your services to the government. Okay. Um, and this is a, uh, a common way, like as you grow and, you know, start getting contracts as a prime and start getting contracts as a sub and you're really growing. So you go after larger projects. Okay. So sometimes to meet the um, requirements for going after really, really large projects or opportunities, um, you have to partner with other businesses. And so that way you are marketing yourself um, to the government as a joint venture. Okay, so that means you're partnering with other companies so that you can meet the requirements, um, you know, that the contract opportunity is, you know, 
uh, requiring for you to have, right? Right, capacity, so you can have the capacity because maybe um, it's a multi-million dollar contract and you have to have a team and you're a sole proprietor. You don't have a team. So in order to be able to have that team, you have to partner with other businesses and create what's called a joint venture. So those are the three ways that you can market your services to the government. And you guys, we're talking about marketing. We're not talking about spending dollars on advertising. Okay, so there's a different difference. There's a big difference when it comes to government contracting. You're not spending a penny, not a single penny on advertising. All you're doing is putting yourself in front of the agencies, and there's a strategy and a way to do that. You can learn more at qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com. That is a website where I have a, um, a free training that kind of tells you how these things work. But if you go to qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com, you can learn more about it, but basically you're putting yourself um, in their way or on their network and getting on their radar and letting them know you know that you can provide X Y and Z services and you can do those things as a um, as a subcontractor as a prime contractor and you can also venture with other um, businesses and become a joint venture and go after those contracts as well so if you're a small business owner and you provide a professional service um, and you're ready to really seriously 10 extra business right 10 extra business revenues and you can absolutely do that in the next six to twelve months we're talking about 10 X you guys so if you're starting Starting off making twenty, thirty thousand a year, you can ten x that, right? Three hundred thousand a year, like within a very short amount of time, by marketing your services to the government. And I just shared with you three ways that you can do that. You can learn more. Um, I have a free training at qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com. And if you drop me a comment below, um, I can also share with you a free qualifications um, checklist that I provide for those who are interested. If you want to know what you need to have to qualify to become a government contractor, um, then drop me a comment below and I'll go ahead and share that um, free checklist with you. But otherwise, um, to learn more about you know getting started with government contracts, go to qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com. Check out the free training, you guys. Um, get ready to take action and position your business. Let's win. Um, I'm winning. A lot of my clients are winning. A lot of my colleagues are winning. Everybody's winning government contracts, so why not you? Okay. So that was my tip for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Corwana D, and I'll check you next time. Be sure to subscribe and um, su subscribe to my channel, like, and also hit the notifications button for the next time that I am here on live so that you don't miss any important trainings that I share. Have a great day.